A lot of us look around, and in our lives, sometimes we find five or six things that we can't do. And so those are the things that we, we, we look on, and so those are the things that we focus on. So those are the places where we break down and give up. Those are the areas in our life where we just stop functioning in. We quit praying about it because we prayed for this long already. So we walk away from it. We, we, we are sitting in a standstill in a life, and the enemy is sitting there waiting, 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 waiting for the anointing in our life to dissipate, waiting for us to get weak, waiting for us to get to that place in our life to where we, we, we literally speak it out of our mouth, I can't do this. And so, therefore, we're not hid underneath that anointing listen to me when that anointing hits your life and you become hid underneath that anointing uh, things begin to change uh, in your life one of the scariest scriptures ever that makes me just just tremble in the bible is when he looks around and he begins to look at samson at that time and the bible said uh, that, that that samson got up one day and shook himself Because he didn't even realize that the anointing had left him. And I think that in America today, we're dealing with churches who have went to church, who have done church things, who have done those things. And then when the enemy comes, they go to shake themselves and don't even realize that God had left. Or that the anointing is gone. Let me rephrase that. God don't leave you. I don't care what you're in. God never leaves you. But there's an anointing in us that we have been given to by God that allows us. But what happens is, is we don't realize. See, the more you stay in prayer, the more you realize your capabilities. The more you focus yourself on God and you stay in that place with God is the more that you realize what you can do in Christ. The more you look at everything else and quit praying about it, the more that you can't, the more that it falls apart. What the enemy wants you to do is get so far away from God. He wants you to stay right in that place. He wants you to come to church. He wants you to look like a Christian. He wants you to act like a Christian. But dadgummit, don't you dare talk like one, because if you do, you'll get some stuff done. And so the Apostle Paul tells us in Galatians chapter 5, he says, In in verse number 18, but when you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law of Moses. When you follow the desires of sinful nature, the results are very dear or very clear. Okay, here, here are the results of the flesh. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, adultery, sorcery, hostility. Some of us got some hostility. Come on. Quarreling, uh-oh, that hits half the church. Want to argue all the time. Jealousy, outburst of anger. My God, we're just talking about, <laughs> I'll move on. Selfless ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. Let me tell you again, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. Listen to what the Apostle Paul is saying. Listen, listen. Everybody say, I love the preacher. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hmm. So what does that mean? That means everything that God has for you down here on earth, for you to inherit and walk in and become powerful over, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. In other words, you will not get the blessings. You'll not walk in the blessings. You'll not have those things. You, 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 you say, preacher, you mean that, 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 that if I have a quarreling spirit? Yeah. A jealousy spirit? Yeah. Even if I like you? Yeah. You can come to church. You can have those things. Listen to me. Let me, say, let me, let me just break it down. Every one of these that I just told you, some of us has fought with these 
on a daily basis. Some of us have overcome some of these things, uh, but there are still yet some of these things uh, that we are dealing with. Uh, and here's what happens is, uh, is when you do not put these underneath the blood uh, and when you do not put these where they need to be, uh, which is underneath your feet, then guess what? You're not walking in the anointing. Uh, and the more that you are fulfilling the lust of the flesh, uh, that's what the King James Version says, uh, and, and you will not, for, and, and, and if you walk in the spirit, uh, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And as long as you are fulfilling these things, then you are no longer anointed and the enemy is coming in at the places in your life that you are not anointed. Somebody help me in here tonight. And he's taking everything you got. He's taking your peace. He's taking the love. He's taking the sanity, the very last sanity that you got in your life and he's running with it. And so now we are religious people coming to church and not getting anything done. I know it's